Today, we're gonna learn the right way to use the right foot pedal or damper pedal. And this will make our music sound nice and legato and smooth. It's a little tricky at first, but if you can tap your foot while you clap your hands, you'll do just fine. First, let's get an idea of how the dampers and damper pedal work. So when you press a key, it causes a hammer to strike the corresponding string inside the piano. At the same time, the damper, which is normally pressed against the string, comes off the string. And this allows the string to vibrate as the hammer strikes it and then it creates a sound. When I release the key, the damper comes back to the string and stops or dampens the sound. Now, when I press the damper pedal down, all the dampers come off the string without any keys being pressed. So this means that the string will continue to vibrate even after a key is released. And this gives us that warm, smooth sound. But if we simply hold down the damper pedal and play a bunch of notes, it sounds really muddy and not what we want. This is where legato pedaling comes in. Okay, let's get situated at the piano or keyboard. So we pedal with our right foot and the heel of your right foot is on the ground. Then the ball of your foot, not just your toes, is on the pedal resting lightly. You can press the pedal down to the ground, then back up, keeping your heel on the ground. And this is what causes the dampers to come away from the strings and and return to the strings. So when I press down, the dampers come away from the strings and it's letting the sound just vibrate. And when I come back up, the dampers come back to the strings and cut off the sound. You wanna avoid coming really high off the pedal as you lift because it can be loud and distracting when you come back down. You also wanna avoid a loud leg stomp. So keep the heel on the ground. Now the general rule of legato pedaling is right as you play a note or chord, your pedal lifts at the same time. Then the foot comes back down. It's very important that you don't release your hands off the keys until the damper pedal has come down. Otherwise, this sound won't catch. So if I play and lift before the pedal catches, you can see the sound just goes away. But if I play, catch it with the pedal down, then I can move my hands freely and the sound will continue. To start out, Let's practice with our right hand playing root position chords. We're gonna start on C, then we'll just go up the scale and we'll just continue all the way up until we get to the next C. Every time we change to a new chord, we're gonna do our legato pedaling. So let me choreograph this for you. We'll be in four, four time and we're gonna play each new chord on beat one. So we're gonna play the chord on beat one, then on beat two, the pedal will come down. On beat three, both hand and foot should be down, so no new movement, just hold. Then on beat four, the hand will come up and prepare to move to the next chord, but don't lift the pedal. So now we're on to a new measure. So we've got our D chord on beat one, and remember that as our hand goes down to play the chord, our pedal lifts at the same time. So again, this happens all on beat one. So. Then on beat two, pedal comes down, stays down through beat three, then beat four, 
our hand lifts, not our foot, and preps to get ready for the next chord. Okay, with me so far? So let's move to our E chord, play the chord on beat one, and the pedal is gonna lift at the same time. Beat two, pedal comes down and holds through beat three, then beat four, we lift and move our hand to the next chord, okay? So from here, I'm gonna finish this out as I count with a steady beat. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and we're done. Once you feel comfortable with that, it's very important that you also get comfortable playing with your left hand and pedal doing this exact same exercise. Then hands together. Once you have all of those feeling good, start to increase the pedal speed. So in other words, don't wait until beat two to come back down with the pedal. So here's my beat. One, two, three, four. One down, two, three, lift. 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 One down, two, three, lift, and so on, all the way until you get to the next C. The final step to this exercise is to hold the chord for only two beats rather than four. So one down two, one down two, one down two, one down two. Okay, and then once you feel really good with that, you can hold the chords for only a quarter note. Like with all new things, pedaling can be a little tricky at first, but it's a skill that will feel automatic after a little practice, and it adds so much warmth and color to our music. It really is an essential skill to master. So that does it for today. Good luck with your pedaling endeavors. I know you can do it. Let me know how it goes, and I'll see you at your next lesson. Bye.